A spokesman for Walmart says that they're confident on the legal, ethical and methodological standards associated with the price comparison ads that have got rival retailers hot under the collar and complaining to regulators up and down the country. Well, Shelley Banjo is a WSJ reporter in our Dallas bureau. She joins us now. Hello, Shelley. Hi, how are you? Thanks very much for joining us. I'm good, thanks. So tell us, this is about a series of adverts that Walmart have aired on the radio and on TV in 31 US c cities starting last year. What's the problem? Why are rival retailers so furious? Walmart's going right after these competitors by name. So they're hosting these commercials, much like a reality TV show where they, they, you know, they take one camera, they go into a store, um, they say, hey, this, this is way cheaper than it is over at Toys R Us or at Best Buy or at you know, Pick and Save, you know, any kind of regional grocery store. And so these rivals are getting pretty sensitive about it. Um, what they're looking at right now is whether or not Walmart's claims are deceptive or not or misleading. To, to consumers. Where do, the, where do the discrepancies lie according to companies like Toys R Us or Best Buy? So it has to do with some of the uh, different products that Walmart's comparing. Uh, Walmart will pick uh, one laptop from Walmart and one laptop from Best Buy and say, look, you, this is a $250 difference in, in laptop. Best Buy is saying, you know, this is not the same laptop. Um, you know, these are not identical laptops. There's different memory. There's different battery life. Um, you know, the, it's not comparing apples to apples. That's one of the complaints. Other complaints are comparing things on different days. So Walmart might uh, tape tape um, a, a commercial and then air it for the for the whole week. And these retailers can change prices in real time. So by the time that Walmart's airing these commercials, uh, companies like Toys R Us are saying, well, these toys are already cheaper, or we've already marked them down, and so it's, it's misleading to, to customers. Companies like Best Buy are also saying it's misleading because in many cases, Walmart don't even have the stock. I mean, tell us about the situation with the iPhone, for example. <laughs> Yeah, this was an interesting case because uh, this holiday season, Best Buy put into effect uh, a price match guarantee that says if you find a, an ad anywhere else, we'll match, we'll match the price. Uh, and so what Best Buy is claiming is that a whole bunch of people saw this ad for a Walmart iPhone, went to the store, they didn't have it, and so they brought the ad over to Best Buy, and Best Buy is saying it lost a, around $65,000 in of profit in, in one day of the promotion. So they're, they're saying, you know, we have to match these ads for this retailer that doesn't even have the, the iPhones in stock. And um, on Walmart's case, they're saying we, we actually did have those iPhones in stock. We had 98% in stock at the, at the stores that carry iPhones. Um, so at this point, it's kind of a he said, she said game. Shelley, in many ways, this is like history repeating itself. In the early 1990s, we saw companies like Target lodging complaints against Walmart. Have they learned anything from that, do you think? I'm not sure what's come of that specifically. You know, in the 90s, it was the same type of thing where Walmart was going after Target and Kmart very aggressively, calling them out by name, comparing prices. And, you know, Target uh, managed to get Walmart to sign an agreement with the Michigan Attorney General saying not to do some of these things. I, I think that um, the company's probably gotten a little more um, careful. Uh, you know, there's a lot of ways. Uh, to play these kinds of ads and still make them legal. Uh, you know, it might be a little squishy. Uh, you know, you're not sure uh, for the consumer. The consumer has to be a little bit smarter about really taking a look at which products they're comparing and what dates are on the ads, uh, the fine print, you know, all those things that go into advertising. Um, so there, there are ways to, to get around to get around these things to make sure that it is legal. And clearly Walmart, after two rather bad years during the recession, is desperate to do anything it can to, uh, to regain its reputation as rock bottom pricer. Shelley Banjo in our Dallas Bureau, thank you very much for joining us. And thanks for joining us here on the News Hub.